Hi friends, welcome back or welcome to my YouTube channel. It's Larissa Noon here, Realtor with EXP Realty here in Drumheller, Alberta, Canada, aka, yes, you know it, Dinosaur Capital of the World. And in today's video tutorial, I will be showing you how to create and repurpose your YouTube content for IGTV to basically drive your Instagram followers to your YouTube channel using canva in other words this is basically creating a youtube teaser that you are posting to your instagram feed now this video is specially dedicated to the agents in the wolfpack greatest family in the exp realty game i know this video is very long awaited but it's finally here better late than never and now i'm spilling all my secrets so i hope you enjoy this video if you are new here please be sure to subscribe hit that notification bell so you never miss any of my content and do follow me on instagram at loden living let's get into the video as always we are starting out in canva at the dashboard so again, Canva makes this very easy for you. You just want to go to Instagram story because the dimensions of IGTV are the same as the Instagram stories. So the way I create this is with three separate pages. The first page is going to be basically your cover page. So this is, this is the picture that you see on your Instagram feed. The second page is going to be the actual video teaser and the third page is going to be a call to action. So it's basically going to prompt people to go to your YouTube channel. All right, so let's begin. First things first, we are going to go up to file. We want show rulers and we want show guides. Let me do that one more time. All right, now next thing, we're gonna go to elements and just click on rectangle. And then we want this to be 1080 by 1080. And we want that centered in the middle. Now what we're going to do is drag a line here, drag a line there, delete this rectangle, and now you have a perfect square because this is where you want your pertinent important information because this is the area of the feed content that is going to be going to be shown so this is where you're going to want to put all your profile pictures and if you as you can see here it carries on through all through each page now let's work on the cover page so my secret here is having your thumbnails already made this makes your job a hundred times easier so for this video i'm going to be showing you how i would create an ig template for this video here so what i'm going to do since this is a thumbnail that's already done i'm going to detach this image from the background i'm going to copy it by command or control c and then i'm going to go back into this page here and i'm just going to paste that and what I'm going to do is basically just make sure it fits right in here okay that looks about good I'm gonna put the transparency down to 70 I'm gonna go back into my YouTube thumbnail that I also create in Canva I'm going to drag my mouse and select everything that is here so just command Control C, go back to this page here and command or control V. It takes a little, it takes a second to copy over. But there, I just do that there. I pretty much keep the text that same size. And what I do, I'm just gonna lock in this background here by locking it in there. Now what I do is just size up my image here. Now, if you haven't watched my YouTube thumbnail video tutorial, uh, you should. It's a good one. I will link it in the cards above. Again, it will make your job really easy when you do these uh, Instagram templates or Instagram teaser videos. So that looks pretty good. So I'm just going to, I can make this just, oops. I'm just gonna move myself. I'm just going to make this a little bit bigger to do that again we want everything to be in this 
1080 by 1080 frame. And then what I like to do here is just add in a YouTube logo so people know that this is YouTube content. Let's do that. Right there. And let's see. Uh, usually I would add in for this back portion here. Just you can put a picture there or a pattern there. Doesn't matter. But I just drag that to the background so it doesn't look so blank. So that's what I do. So that is your first page done. Okay. Moving on to the next page. This one is a little bit more time consuming, but once you have created a template, it's very easy to just drag and drop your content in and out. So for here, what I like to do is I'm going to change this to um, a different color. I'm going to use this color here. Next, I'm going to basically build this from the background to the front. Go back to your elements and we want lines and shape. I'm going to grab a rectangle here and I'm going to put this above the line here. So I'm going to make this white. And this is where the video, video title is going to be. So I'm going to copy and paste another one. I'm going to put this underneath. And then what I'm going to do here is just click T for text box on your keyboard. And I'm going to make this white. And I'm going to put YouTube video. I'm going to just size this up right here. And I'm just going to make, give it a little bit of a glow effect because you know, you're fancy. All right. Next up, we are going to put in some, some graphic elements here. I'm just going to put leaf pattern just so there's something interesting but you can definitely skip this step if you'd like now I'm going to go back into elements and this is this is the fun part you want to go into frames so this is where we're gonna put our video so I like to use this iMac you can use any frame you like this computer or just a general fr frame or nothing at all but let's just do this I'm gonna size it up so it looks like that then underneath here, I'm going to be putting in, I'm going to go into uploads, I'm going to put in EXP. That's pretty much it. And again, this white area here, you just want to put the title of your video. So this, what is this video? Email signature. Okay. Email tutorial. If you haven't watched that yet, you should watch that video. It's a really good one. Just saying. I'll link it in the cards above. I'm just going to center that. Okay. And one last thing. I think it's called um, rectangle frame. Frame. <laughs> and it's this glowy one. It's very pretty. that is the second page done then we'll come back to that in a bit but now we're going to work on the last and final page which is your call to action very important because again we want people to be intrigued by this 
YouTube teaser and want to watch the rest of your video. And how, how are they going to do that is by going to your YouTube channel. So I'm just going to copy and paste this leaf pattern from the second page and paste it to the third one. And then what I'm going to do is just go back into elements and we want another white rectangle. Make it, yes, white. Here we are We're just going to put that here. And then we'll go back into elements. Let's see what the shapes here. It's this one. And let's change the colors and make this gray. Now I want to go back into elements and we are going to search play button. Play button. Let's do push them back to front. Or yeah, you can definitely use just the YouTube logo. That works too. Alright. That is it for the last page. Now we are going to work on the animations, which make this really fun. So for the first animation, I usually just do either the pop or the stomp, but I'm just going to use the pop for this one. And then for the second page, I usually use, I think rise. Yeah, that's the one. I think for this, the last page, I also use Rise as well, but you can use anything you like. This tumble one's always fun. But just to keep things easy, I'll just do that one. Now, we have to work on the timing of each. So, in order to have a IGTV be posted as a long form video, it has to be longer than one minute. So for this animation, I just usually make it three seconds because I don't want it to be too long. Um, the second page animation will be as long as the clip that you put in. And then this final page, I just keep at five seconds so people can actually read what it says. Now for the middle portion here, this is where we can add in our video. So go ahead and open your project. I use Adobe Premiere Pro and what I'm going to do is basically export one minute of this timeline. So usually I always put in the just the beginning portion. So usually uh, to do that I just pressed in on this side I on your keyboard and then I usually will just drag a minute press O on your keyboard for out and that will just select a portion on your timeline for at least Premiere Pro and then what I do is just export that section as a video file and then once you have done that you can go back into Canva I've already uploaded that so I'm gonna go into my videos and this is the video right here this is about 57 seconds long I'm just gonna drag that there and you can play it just like that and now let's see the full thing in action so you can go to up to the top you can see that this is a minute and five seconds which is exactly what you want you want it to be more than 60 seconds so give it a play just like that and then if we scroll to the end here Just so you can see the end, that's what it looks like. Watch more full video on my YouTube channel at Little Living. Link in bio, and boom. Next thing you gotta do is just download that as an MP4 video file. And for myself, I work on a iMac, so when I download something, I download directly to my desktop, and then I can airdrop it from my desktop to my phone. And I'm gonna show you how I upload this into Instagram. Right, so after you have exported the video from 
Canva and have airdropped it to your phone if you can do that. Now just go ahead and open Instagram and go to the post section. Now just click on your video here, just click next, next, and then in the cover section what you want to do is just drag the timeline so it's actually the first page is your cover page, right? So then click done and then go ahead and add in all your captions. You can add it to a series if you have one and you can share it to Facebook, all that good stuff and just press share and then it will go to your, your timeline, your Instagram feed as a, an IGTV and that is pretty much it for this tutorial. I hope this video was helpful. If you enjoyed it, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Comment down below with any questions or concerns that you may have and if you haven't already, please be sure to subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you never miss any of my uploads and follow me on Instagram at Little Living for more content just like this and until next time, I will see you all next time. Bye friends!